Joining us now, Jerry Bailey. He's the president of Petrotech and he's the former president of Exxon Arabian Gulf. Jerry, welcome to the program. Good to Thank see you Thank you very again. much. I'm glad to be here. If we've got energy dominance in America, and I'm told we do, how come OPEC and the Russians still have a big influence on prices? Well, I have to take exception to the word dominance. We're, we've joined the big leagues now with Russia and with Saudi Arabia, and we're really coming on strong. But the reason they get more attention and all is because we do our production, or we're more localized, I say, or domesticized here. We're using our oil. For, for here, we don't export but about 2 million barrels a day. Okay. We still import 5 million barrels a day, and we're producing 10 million barrels a day. But Russia and, and uh, Saudi Arabia, when people think oil, they, they think Saudi Arabia. So they okay. still, and they do, they may not dominate in uh, total volume, but they dominate in uh, market recognition because they know that they can control prices. They can change things overnight that we don't really uh, do. Ryan Zinke, the Secretary of the Interior, he was on this program sitting in that chair about an hour ago on this program today. Right. He said that this year we're very likely to hit a production of 11 million barrels of oil a day in America. Highest production ever. Isn't that energy dominance? I mean, that's a well, lot it's of oil. A, it's that's a lot. the largest in the world. We're going to, uh, yes, we will be among the, we'll be the top three there with, with Saudi and with Russia. And that's possible, 11 million. You wouldn't have thought that a few years ago. But we're already in the tens now. So 11 is, is very likely. All of this stuff coming, you know, from the shale, from the Permian Basin, and even my company, Petrotech Energy, we're producing our little bit to make, make that number go big. So I'm happy about that in the oil sands as, you know, another way. But we can get to that number. Uh, but our uses is going, are going up, too. You know, we're, we're taking a lot. So, uh, you know, but look, one more comment on that is that, remember, Saudi still can do their production at ten dollars a barrel or under the u.s is in the twenty to thirty type okay. range okay. and um, and russia is about uh, well they're in, in the high twenties uh, so we, we still we lose out because the dominance means they can change prices last one on the show last time you hear about a couple of weeks ago you yes, said sir. oil is going to hit a hundred dollars a barrel repeat that make your case and tell us when it hits a hundred bucks a barrel well, I said that it would be $100 a barrel, likely by the end of this year. Mm. But then, you know, I Are can you hedge... that back? Yeah, well, no, I can hedge that statement, though, on the basis, again, of the turmoil and unrest that we still may see in the Middle East, particularly. Okay. And so, thank, you know, but I did say uh, that I think 80 is very, very likely and very reasonable. The, the drop last week of $5, you know, back in uh, late uh, March, early April, we dropped $3. So oil is like the stock market. It has that sawtooth effect but it's still going upward. So we're going to have these down days. Look how it jumped back now. We're, what, uh, on the 67, 67 right I now. think, right yeah. now. So uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to recover, I think. We shall see, Jerry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> I'm watching. Thank you. All right, you. Jerry Bailey, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, my Much pleasure. Much obliged.